All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Akakadash. Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakadash. And we give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders and great millstone, and to you hopeful elect on the four corners of the planet Earth that's pushing this truth with all sincerity, honesty, and faith. Keep fighting, keep pushing, keep maintaining. 2020 is becoming a year of, uh, of great things taking place for the name of the Lord, man. And, um, I'm on location at this little spot uh, around my little area. It's a little, it's a little bit of a not not too much of a drive, but uh, I thought I'd um, you know just do a lesson and just go into. We at the end, man. This is the end. The end is nigh. The end is right here. We you know talking about the end. The end. The end is we we in the midst of it. You know, with everything that's taking place with the um, the uh, tension, with the violence, with the uh, with, with, with everything that's taking place on the society, you just had a, a T man. Uh, uh, he got his, his so called friend off. You know, he expunged it. So, really, you should also see that look, man, that's hypocrisy. You want people to do the law, law, and follow your laws, but you expunge somebody that broke your law. So, I mean, it's it, it, like it says, we're not going to look for no kind of um, justice in a place of injustice that never had justice. Okay, so we're not looking for that. What we're looking for is patience and waiting and, and tighten ourselves up. Because all, all we're doing now is waiting for the final moments and the prophecies to take place so we can get up out of here, man. You know, and it's evident more and more each day. So I just wanted to, you know, just go into a lesson. And I had a few scriptures in mind just to touch to say, look, man, this is, this is, um, this is the time we've been waiting for, you know. And it's a time to be, you know, excited, humbled, you know. Uh, anticipation all these things are what you should be waiting on man all right so let me jump right into it let me get the i'm gonna have to get my scripts at the same time but uh this is let's jump to first peters let's jump to first peters scripts on me. Alright. This is first Peter's Four and seven. This is First Peter's four and verse seven. And it says, But the end of all things is at hand. But ye therefore be sober and watch unto unto prayer. Let me make sure this is the KG. Let me make sure this is King James version. Yeah, this King James. Okay, come. And it says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. So you gotta be, you gotta have a mindset, man. You gotta you gotta know the time frame you in. Especially you got a so-called pandemic happening. You got things taking place on that type of um, of uh, level you should have a mindset about it man real or not you know take extra precautions with your health you know take care of yourself don't if you didn't live healthy before try living better now it's all it, it, it's an all set of, a set of mindset and then that doom gloom spirit that's the the spirit the world to be in man because we as we as the day gets closer this is for our salvation man the world is is falling apart and, and fearful because the way their status quo is getting taken up man things as they knew it is, is being changed man so that's that's for them to be fearful not us our status quo is being enforced man that's why everything's over the years you see non-gmo where'd that come from before people didn't care they ate anything all right worrying about uh ph water i go into the ga uh, certain gas stations now there's bootleg ph water a lot of people weren't on no ph water that's a that's a spirit and a vibration that's going out here man and especially us in the truth, we should have our mindsets on that, you know? 
because diet is very important. Diet is in the scriptures and diet promotes health, which promotes a better body, which promotes better thinking, which makes you a better tool and a sharper arrow for Yah Bashim Yah Shai. That's why the scripture where it says, hide me is a, a, a quiver, an arrow in that quiver. If you're arrow in a quiver, that means you want to be, um, you want to be sharp, man. You don't want to be dull, just like a dull knife. You don't want to be a dull knife, dull anything. If you, if you have a tool, you don't want to be a, a, a dull tool, man. Just in anything, you wanna you wanna practice. Even if you're a, a, a baseball player, you you pa you practice, man, to to hone your skills. That's the same thing with with anything else. You hone your skills in health. You gotta hone your skills. It's practicing, man. Practice makes perfect. If you don't hit it the first time, you keep going. <clears throat> but people don't try, man. People don't try, but they expect a, a lot of things to be given to them, man. That's why the world is 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 freaking out now because they have been bread to be given everything fast food uh, a, a convenient mark life isn't meant to be sometimes convenient man look at nature in itself let's keep going though this is uh verse eight and it says and above all things have fervent charity among yourselves for charity shall cover up a multitude of sins and sometimes charity isn't money if, if you're a poor man how can a poor man be charitable you know Ask yourself that, because everybody's not going to be rich to be able to give. So how can a poor man be charitable? Because a lot of us in this truth are not very wealthy, man. So how can we be charitable? The way you conduct yourself, the way you act, the way you treat your brother. That's why it says treat your brother as you treat yourself, man. That'll cut up a lot of uh, uh, and, uh, uh, problems if you follow those rules. Love, treat your brother as you treat yourself. You ain't going to sin again you, it, unless you are... Uh, uh, unwise man you won't sin against yourself or you don't care about yourself but that goes into what taking care of yourself and then take care of the body then you can take care of what a brother next to you man all right if you establish yourself to be healthy you gonna you gonna know how to what give your brother something that's healthy or teach him something that's healthy it's, it that's why it says iron sharp and iron man so be charitable man because we all we got, man. A brother said it the other day, and it was it just rang uh, bells. We all we we got, man. You know, if you don't establish yourself in something right now, you're gonna be left out here, man. Because the world is asking questions. The world is in a panic. You know, just because they're opening things up, don't make it uh, okay. They said they're not even halfway through the first wave of the pandemic, the first one. So what's gonna happen when the second one happens? Now Trump's wearing the mask. So now he's wearing the mask now. Oh, now it's real. So now it's, it's going to get intensified, man. So wintertime is going to be a, a, a hectic time. That's why I said you got the summer. Enjoy yourself. Get out in nature as much as possible. And in, 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 in sort of, you know, the storm, this is the calm before the storm, man. You know, the, the calm before the storm. That's, that's why they're opening things up. But they're telling you it's getting worse. But they're opening everything back up because they're going to close it back down worse than they did the first time so it's going to be worse you're going to everywhere everywhere you're going to have to wear a mask if you go out your house you're going to have to wear a mask so it's going to be, it's going to be worse man that's why it says be sober be be serious you got to be have a mindset about you all right because even if it ain't real the world is making it so so you got to adapt to it all right let's jump down here let's jump to genesis because this is another reason why the end is here because wickedness is at all time level that's why it's getting taken out man this world can't continue with wickedness in it it's like um it's like putting the wrong gasoline in the car if your car takes diesel and you put regular gas in there it's not going that vehicle's not going to run well man this might not run at all so you got to put the right fuel in it and wickedness is not the right fuel in this world for this for this for this type of uh, uh vehicle all right, I'm, I'm using the word analogy as the earth being the vehicle. You can't put wickedness in this vehicle, man. It's a lot, you had to get a drink. But no, you can't put wickedness, man. That's what you see now. Look at the world as it is, pollution and 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 look at things like this, man. I'm, I'm happy we still have springs like this. You go to certain parts of the country, man, and at certain places that used to be springs are not springs no more. You know, you got Superfund sites, which are uh, a, a chemical uh, uh, dumps. 
throughout. So the earth is being broken down, man, because you have wickedness that's in, in, the, in, the, in the gas tank, man. In certain times, if you put wrong gas in the gas tank, you got to get that uh, the gas flushed out of your uh, out of your uh, out of your car. So the Lord got to flush this wickedness out, man, and then put righteous fuel in there, which is the uh, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which is the elect being put back in power, man. And then once the whole nation is is, is brought back, then hey, we gonna rule. That's why I says the people going they gonna they're gonna. Um, they're going to give us a so-called, uh, when, the, when the righteous are in the rulership, the people rejoice. You know? Even though we're going to be a, a, above them, hey, they're going to be, man, they're going to be right. Man, they're going to love it, man. Let's keep going. This is Genesis 6 and 13. Touch the point. It's Genesis 6 and verse 13. And it said, uh, hold on. Yep, yep. And it says, and the power said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence. And, and you see it now, man. Look at look at uh, the George Floyd situation. Look at look at the uh, the the different violence crimes that take place in America on a daily basis, man. That's why it says the shadow of death, man. You have all types of, of, of violent uh, gun crimes and, and, and domestic violence. It, it, it goes on and on. All you do is Google violence in a day. You, you, you'll be shocked, man. You'll be shocked to see what kind of crimes take place in one day in Babylon. So how much more the world? Around the world, you got all types of, of child trafficking. and it's, 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 it's bad out here. They just had a thing where they're selling... I think it's uh, they're selling cabinets with the name of certain of girls that are missing. So they haven't even. It's, I think it's Wayfair or something like that, where they're uh, kidnapping these and, and, and selling. We haven't got the confirmation on that, but if you look under the, the child trafficking, that's a heavy thing, man. That's why they shut down certain sites. So it, it's violent, man. Where you can't trust your kid to go out and play in the streets, it's violent, man. All right, let me read it again. And it says, in the, uh, it says in the power said unto Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. So he's coming again. That's what, that's what they don't tell you in these churches, man. They tell you like God's this hug and dove and he gonna come and give you flowers. No, what happened to the one that drowned the earth, man? That's what you, that's what I'd fear because then fear make, just like a snake, you see a poisonous snake. What makes you not go touch that poisonous snake? Because you know it'll, it, it, it'll bite you and it's got venom, man. So you fear that. But Lord, people don't fear the Lord, man. They don't fear, man. They just, they think that it's just all good. No, man. Once certain hits to a certain level, he resets it. That's where we're at now. We're at a, we're at a reset. The Lord's coming to reset the earth, man. You know, because it, it, it can't go on as is, man. You got all this racial tension. You got all this uh, 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 pride, man. The earth is not being taken care of. I mean, like it says, look at things like this, man. This is beauty, man. You know, and Esau has jacked it up. They'll make you come pay to, to, to come to certain things like this. But the earth is, is, is paradise, man. It's Eden. And it says... Um, that's it on that, because he told Noah to make the ark. And that's what the ark now. Now we got a spiritual ark. We don't got a physical ark. Because they'll try to burn that down. Look what they did to uh, <laughs> Black Wall Street. They'll try to burn that down, man. So there's a spiritual ark being built. And it's a, it says, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. So if you don't have this knowledge, you're going to be caught out here, man. You ain't going to have no, no answers. You're not going to have no, nothing to go to, uh, to lean on in that time. This is Romans 13 and 11. This is Romans 13 and verse 11. And it says, And that knowing the time that is now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we, when we believe. So it's close, man. It's close. It's not around. It's not going to take a while. We don't have 40 years, 30 years. We don't have that, man. We down to months and years, man. 
you know, now these bugs and Satan want to come around these flies, but it's like, it's cool. But we don't have that 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 certain uh, time, man. That's why all the time is short, man. So we we should be addressing ourselves in in like manner, man. All right. Read that again, and it says it's Romans 13 and verse 11. It says, and now knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. And that's what you see now, which is this truth. The breastplate of faith, you know, the shield, all of these things that we, we put in on us that are going to allow us to uh, uh, maintain in that time. Because as the world is going crazy, as everything is happening, we're going to be at peace, man. All right. That's why you have to you got to get yourself uh, um, prepared and, and established before the end. And if you don't, that's on you. You don't got to listen. Because the end's going to come. That's like somebody going to a bus stop and say, I don't believe the bus coming. And the bus pull up. I don't believe that schedule is right. It don't matter if you believe it's right, man. The bus is coming. All right? The bus is coming and the bus is going to leave, man. All right? And that's what we going to. And we speaking to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. If you're on the fence, I don't know even now if you can be on the fence. All right? And then you got this Dr. J situation where he's trying to uh, set us up for the, uh, the Oki. Which is okay, man. He's a, a fence that must come. If that's his lot, hey, let his lot be 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 uh, uh, diligent, man. <laughs> you know, I, I I pray his lot be fervent, man, because everything that's happening is to get us out of here, man. It's to establish the prophecies that is set in this book, man. And and, and if you can't see that, then your eyes ain't open, man. It's not for you to see. So hey, the beautiful times we in. Let me get this real quick. Not the apocrypha. I'm gonna get these two precepts and I'm gonna close on out. It's the book of 2nd Ezra 2 and verse 34. Second Ezra 2 and verse 34. And it says. Therefore, I say unto you, O nation that hear and understand, wait for your shepherd. Who is that? Who's our main shepherd? Is Yahweh Shai. It says, wait for your shepherd. He will give you everlasting rest. And who's the only shepherd that can do that? I ain't talking about a regular shepherd. There ain't no comforter, man. No, no, no guy that called himself a comforter. Because he gone now, man. All right? It's talking about Yahweh Shai. And it says... Wait for your shepherd, he will give you everlasting rest because he who will come at the end of the age is close at hand. Be ready for the reward of the kingdom because perpetual light will shine on you evermore. And that's his truth. It's a perpetual. That means it's gone. It's like you have a perpetual watch. That means a watch that does not need batteries, man. So that's what you see um, with this truth. It's going to be a perpetual truth. And that's what is coming to the elect of Yahweh Shem Let me read it one more time. And it says, um, "Flee, um, be ready for the reward of the kingdom, because perpetual light will shine on you forevermore. You forevermore flee from the shadow of the this age. Receive the joy of your glory. I will publicly call. I will publicly call on my Savior to witness." Receive wait, receive what the Lord has entrusted to you and be joyful, giving thanks to him who has called you to the ce celestial kingdom. And that's spiritual, man. All right. This is not a physical. This is a spiritual kingdom, but then it's going to be established on the earth, man. All right. As a physical rulership. That's that stone that you've seen smash the feet in the statue, man. All right. It's a lock. You're trying to get these 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 bugs. But hey, we're going to stay in the spirit, man. And it says, um. A celestial kingdom rise rise stand erect and set see the number of those that uh, who are been sealed at the feast of the Lord which is the elect the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third of Israel all right that's who is sealed for the for the coming marriage of the of the lamb man all right which is beautiful second Ezra 5 and verse 40 and it says he said unto me just as you cannot do one thing one of the one of the things that were mentioned, you cannot discover my judgment or the goal of the love 
that I have promised to my people. So that's what's coming, man. You know, the love of y'all by Shimi Asha, where things like this is gonna be an everyday to us, man. You know, utter beauty and, and, and joy eating and, you know, and Esau and his wickedness is gonna be a thing of the past, man. So, hey, Albert Rothers, all this was edifying. And with that, I wanna give all praise and honor unto our power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Ricard, Kodash. Shalom.